Hi and welcome to KHM Unchanged. Well, this week I'm here at the HQ of Sunnycam, the latest in wearable cameras. Well, tell us a bit more about it. Chris. Yeah, I'm, I'm Chris Chance, the CEO of, uh, of Sunnycam. And uh, yeah, what we have here is, as uh, Sarah says, the latest in wearable technology, certainly around video capture. This product is, as it looks, a pair of sunglasses, but built into the centre of uh, the frame here, we have a 720p HD full video recorder. Um, simple one-touch record. And the difference with this product compared to lots of the other wearable devices that are on the market is here we capture a first-person perspective because the camera is literally there right between your eyes. Um, and that's the subtle difference. We're recording everything down onto, uh, onto an SD card. Um, and the key to this is that we're really capturing and reliving the memory as you saw it. So not from a different or from a foreign angle, from something that's attached to a helmet, but literally as you saw it. And that's great because we've got one of two things. We can either recollect the memory that we've just, we've just encountered, or we can share that memory with somebody else and it's physically a representation of what we saw. Great in the sport environment, of course, because um, we can capture exactly where somebody's head is, where somebody's, uh, where somebody's looking. And this is a great course of motorsport. We can see what, what happens with the driver, um, where he's particularly looking at a point on track. And we'll be uh, down with you guys, I guess, on the 19th and 20th. Um, should be good fun down there. I think one of the uh, ideas is to capture a day in the life of one of the F1 drivers, how they feel in the day, what they see, what they look at, what they encounter through the day. Um, of course, we'll take that through with a bit of luck onto track and we'll be able to really see that, that sort of first person bird's eye view as such, or first person view of, uh, of, 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 of his experience. Everything we do here is lifted by Lindy. This time last year, we moved into this factory uh, one of the big challenges we had is moving 350 staff and our entire equipment from Norfolk to here. So we reached out to Lindy and they were able just to provide the equipment that's basically transformed our factory from Norfolk to here. From the very beginning these guys came on board and provided us with these fantastic forklifts that enable us to move our equipment, whether it be the small forklifts internally, which we use for moving the form blocks around, bits of machine tools, etc to the large 12-tonne air freight forklift over there. Um, Lindy have been very much a partner of ours from the start, and not only to help us with our logistics and material handling at this site, but also when we go around Europe uh, trackside as well. Everything we do is moved by these guys. Hi, I'm Dickie. I'm a model designer here at Cage from Formula One and I've been tasked with designing uh, various parts for the helmets for next year using the 3D software called Katir. Katir is a 3D system that we use to generate surfaces and hard models of the car or the various parts of the car we want to work on uh, to then produce a 50% scale model of the car which we then test in the wind tunnel which gives us a good idea of how the car performs uh, and from that when we find a good solution, we then produce it at full scale and those designs are then handed to full scale designers to produce for the race car. So here we have the model for Charles's helmet and as you can see there's the standard helmet form but we have a flick here and a little uh, chin flick that help, this will help keep the chin of the driver down and generate the f uh, an upward wash of the air that will then go over the back of the headrest to the rest of the car and this will also help smooth the airflow off the back of his helmet. Um, here we have some small vents which will help to keep the driver's head cool while he's racing and this is generally a nice aerodynamic solution. Watch the next episode of Caterham Unchained to see what happens next with these designs. Follow us for a look at what's been happening behind the scenes throughout the year at Caterham F1. And remember, to keep up to date with all the latest action, hit the like button, drop your comments in the box below and subscribe.